If you ever programmed for UIKit or AppKit, Apple's original UI frameworks for iOS and macOS, you'll know that they use classes for views rather than structs. SwiftUI does not. We prefer to use structs for views across the board, and there are a couple of reasons why. First, there's an element of performance. Structs are simpler and faster than classes. I say an element of performance because lots of people think this is the primary reason SwiftUI uses structs, when really it's just one part of the bigger picture. In UIKit, every view came from a class called UIView that had many properties and methods. A background color, constraints that controlled how it was positioned, a layer for rendering its content into, and more. There were lots of these, and every UI view and UI view subclass had to have them, because that's how inheritance works. Often, this wasn't a problem. But there was a particular subclass called UI Stack View, which is analogous to VStack and HStack in Swift UI. In UIKit, UI Stack View was a non rendering view type designed to make layout easier. But it meant that even though it had a background color thanks to inheritance, that background color never actually got used. In SwiftUI, all our views are trivial structs and are almost free to create. Think about it. If you make a struct that holds a single integer, the entire size of your struct is, well, that one integer, nothing else. No surprise extra values that come from parent classes or grandparent classes or great grandparent classes and so on. They contain exactly what you can see and nothing more. Thanks to the power of modern iPhones, I wouldn't think twice about creating 1,000 integers or even 100,000 integers. It would happen in the blink of an eye. The same is true of 1,000 SwiftUI views or even 100,000 SwiftUI views. They are so fast, it stops being worth thinking about. However, even though performance is important, there's something much more important about views as structs. It forces us to think about isolating state in a clean way. You see, classes are able to change their values freely, which can lead to messier code. How would SwiftUI be able to know when a value changed in order to update the UI? By producing views that don't change over time, SwiftUI encourages us to move to a more functional design approach. Our views become simple, inert things that convert data into UI, rather than intelligent things that can grow out of control. You can see this in action when you look at the kinds of things that can be a view. We already used color.red, and linear gradient as views. Trivial types that hold very little data. In fact, you can't get a great deal simpler than using color.red as a view. It holds no information other than fill my space with red. In comparison, Apple's documentation for UI view lists about 200 properties and methods that UI view has, all of which get passed on to its subclasses whether they need them or not. Now here's a tip for you, if you use a class field struct, you might find your code either doesn't compile or crashes at runtime. Trust me on this, use a struct.